Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Oh, God, there we go. It's not even Morse code. Morse it code is. hasn't been around in fucking years, you Jared, asshole. Jared, that is Hans Zimmer. I will not have you disrespect him like uh, that. Hans Zimmer doesn't know Morse code. How he, do you know that? He gave us that theme song. We have the rights to hum it. Because we can't actually you, play how it. How do you yeah, score no. that many movies and you're telling me Hans Zimmer has enough free time to fucking you know, learn a ham radio? It's, it's it's not that he he had enough free time to do our theme song for Drinking Bros Fake I don't News. Believe, I don't believe it for a fucking second. We that was not Hans Zimmer have the rights to hum it, Jared or else Hummer. We would fucking play it. <laughs> you yeah. found him behind a Taco Bell in Fayetteville, North Carolina. He said he could do music. Yeah, and we paid him two point five million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> and he, he said his name was Hans Zimmer. He wrote oh, that song. For Christ's sake! I feel real confident that it was it was Hans Zimmer. Uh, am I saying that right? Did well, I? that's what he said. Yeah, he said And I hands. go, oh, maybe I don't say it right. Yeah. And no. maybe, it, no, maybe no, I'm the one. Are you hands saying hands, hands or yeah. hands it's with, Hummer. A with a D? Hands with a D. And that's what this guy said his name was. What? It could have been. No, Jared Zan, could be correct. Zan's, Zan's Hummer. Zan's Hummer. Oh, yes. yes. Either yes, way, yes. that lovely song I mean, that opens up every show is from him. The, the, the bottom line about this whole thing is, is this is your only source of trusted news on the internet yes you know I mean? it's like, it really on, is just, it's it's the only place you're gonna get the the commentary and the headlines you want to hear mm. yeah without, uh, for example without yeah. the bullshit like hold on let me do let me do my impression of every local news agency you know that, that where they're just they're they're raking for stories like and yesterday we found a bag of kittens outside a Taco Bell. We interviewed a guy that lives across the street, and this is what John had to say. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like and then, kittens? And then yeah. it cuts to John. Man, I Here, don't know who these kittens are. And then you were. have the B roll. You have the B roll of the Taco Bell sign with cars like <laughs> yeah, intersecting yeah, yeah. the camera. Everybody see the leprechaun and then, say, yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah, then you've got then you've got John that's standing there with a rake. He's like, Yeah, yeah, no, I've, no, I've never seen a bag of kittens be dropped out there before. So we went on an investigative report. Yeah. We installed a hidden camera. <laughs> yeah, I know you're fucking around right now, but this is an actual headline this, from CNN this, today. Yeah. You ready? You ready for this? Supporter for who has spoken to Trump in the last 24 hours. He appeared more distracted than past. Wow. That's news. Wow. That's news. Wow. That's news. So a subjective opinion from an unknown supporter about oh Trump said God. he seems more distracted. Yeah. News. Dude, we are living, News. That's we are, why you're dead last, CNN. You fucking suck. <laughs> we, I wanna, are, we are living in idiocracy, and we just have to. God, just I know. Damn. It feels like that. It feels so like that more and more. It's fucking stupid. Everybody is so fucking stupid, and nobody, like, we haven't, we have not progressed. Yeah. Like, yes, a few smart people, like Steve Jobs, came up with, you know, mini supercomputers that are this big, but nah. we're just like, um, oh, I can order McDonald's now to my door, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> well, I mean, look, you can order McDonald's And that is door. the best part I of it. I can, and I do. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. I know you do. <laughs> I want to talk about the real news. So you have, uh, you had a bruiser. You, you're hanging out with a bruiser, a oh, mermaid. Come. Yeah, there we go. And I want it. This not, where you're talking I, well, about breaking let's clarify, news. Let's clarify. Let's clarify. You call any girl I hang out with a bruiser. Same. <laughs> that's not a derogatory. That's not it's a derogatory a, term. No. It's a derogatory against you guys. Yeah, not the gal. Yes. Not yeah. the gal. We're bruising them. It's and more. Yeah, you're bruised. bruising them. You're going through them quick. She's Mostly bruised. just the esophagus. It's not a big deal. <laughs> oh, that heals boy. so fast. Bruising in all the right I ways. Mean, uh, I think I set a record. It was. Uh, 16 days in a row, and I did not get irritated. Wow. Ah. You know? Speak for yourself there, buddy. And yeah. now the rest this, of us did. Exactly. I went, I had a record with this one as well. I went about, what you reckon, six minutes. <laughs> yeah. A whole six minutes. I'm just joking. But anyway, she left your house today. You're thinking you're going to take her to the airport, right? So she's going to hop a plane and go where? What happened? I don't know. You know, she, she said she had to get to Dallas. Sure. Okay, so, and yeah. you and yeah. you go and you go. Hey, what time should we get to the airport? And she says, uh, "Bus station." No, <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, you know drop me off at the bus station, will you? <laughs> mm. Don't bother taking me to the airport. You know what? She has a lot of qualities like me and does things for the story. And I was like, what? I like it. She was like, you know what? Uh, Never taking a bus. Here's what I, I know. Here's what I want. You've, ha you've had a tumultuous run 
the last year and a half, right? Yes. Um, yes. I've, I mean, I've five, done every, yeah. every, every extreme. Mm-hmm. Every yeah, extreme. Every extreme. <laughs> from, so there's from one. Hide from the internet to super famous to yes. yep, violent yep. to fucking angry <laughs> yeah. to. Like uh, to uh, pornography superstar, sure, to, you yeah, know, bruising and losing, caster, just bruising you know? and losing, yeah. Just, yeah. So just wearing, I'm just wearing a lot of hats. Here's what year. I want. There's one hat you've not worn yet. <laughs> a, a Jimmy yeah. hat? No. Okay. <laughs> he does wear condoms. I've seen them. Clearly, he's got to. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, he, hey, I got, no wait. Yeah, come on. There's, I'm clean. There's one I'm thing. No, I'm saying you don't want any more fucking more kids. More kids. Sure. Oh, you yeah, don't yeah, want yeah, exactly. kids. Yeah. I don't want. Come on. No, but I yeah. mean, I just mean like things are icky to me. You know, I'm terrified. Oh, sure, of sure, sure. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Are you kidding? I, I don't it, like I icky it. things. You've got <laughs> you've got more kids than an NFL running back. Um, yes. Yeah, so we got to wrap it up. There's we one more. That dick. There's this one more thing. Yeah, please. Uh dudes. Yes. I, I want you yes. to just it give dude. it a shot, dude. You don't have to fuck him. Just yeah. date him for a while. Yeah. Ah, uh, no, that just it, it it gives me like the ebies. What's gayer, fucking a dude or dating a dude? Uh, <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> definitely dating, dating a dude. getting yeah. drunk yeah. and having dude, sex with a dude. Yeah. yeah, if you're just like or, banging a dude real quick, like that's yeah, that's yeah. Not no that gay. There's nothing gay about that. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. you're either in prison or mm-hmm. in a prison camp, or you're mm-hmm. bored, or it's a or Saturday, it's Tuesday, or yeah. it's Tuesday. <laughs> you, sure. You're done mowing the lawn. You keep adding yeah. days. That long First it was days. just Saturday, sure. now it was Saturday or Tuesday. <laughs> now like, it's any day that de- ends in D A Y. Yeah. So uh, I think you should try dating a dude, honestly, just to see how it goes. Make it no, a social I experiment. I, I honestly, I just I can't date anybody. Yeah, yeah, no, you, and no you, I, I, mean, I, I agree sure. with that. I can that. date them, but I cannot. I, I definitely have learned in the last like 90 days. I've 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 now seen why I can't because I change my mind, every, you know, 30 times a, a, a minute. Sure. As to what I'm going to do that day, what I want to eat, where I'm going to what I'm what I'm working on. Like I'll be sitting at the computer one minute typing an email and in the middle of it, I get up and I'm playing the piano and now I'm vacuuming my room. And now I'm back on the computer, all within a two-minute radius. And it's yeah, like, they have a that name that drives that. other people crazy. AIDS. What what I would say AIDS. is this: on the next one, it's AIDS for sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> on the, on the next one, <laughs> let's just leave them at home, and we got to go out to like work events. I got three times at that that other interview that's that's airing next week. Uh, yeah. three times at a uh, somebody's really nice house. Hey, man, is that girl gonna steal anything? Three yes. different Stop people asked. Me, swear to God. And she did. She did steal some Swear to God. So it's like, whatever. Yeah. Are you serious? No. Mm-hmm. no. Would she take? No. No, she, oh, no, oh. she did. But it would be fucking I mean, funny if she did, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, honestly, that would have been funnier to me if she had stolen No, no, no. Now, Ross is trying to make a joke, but we kind of ate our foot on that one. What do you mean? Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but I mean, we are just doing our regular banter. Yeah, like yeah. We do like where where Dan and I will take things further and further and further until we've now taken it to the well. You know, we started we started just talking shit about orphans. Well, that kid that was sitting in there with yes. me was one. So no like, way, I dude. That. He got upset and he walked out, and it was it was Mermaid that grabbed him. It was like, dude, they're, they're, they 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 have no clue. They're just <laughs> this is what they do. Why would we know like, that some stranger is a fucking orphan? I know that's. And I, by I the know, way, he like, sat dude, there through all the other fucked up shit we said, and then he got offended <laughs> when it was about him. Get fucked, guy. Exactly. <laughs> you either have to be offended all the time or not at all. Oh, God I damn know, it! I know. That's I know. Really it's funny. a fucking comedy show uh, yeah she, that's great. She, 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 you're she, ruining she, america she did she she saved us with that one she didn't so, save me fuck that no, guy I mean, no <laughs> i i would i would say she situation. saved no one uh, to, to put a little uh bow on this bonnet i'm just gonna tell the last story because we went out later that night to just a restaurant bar you know that was inside the hotel room oh yeah nothing fancy uh, uh one of the the waiters comes up to me he's like hey man your your wife left a, a purse Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, well, it definitely wasn't mine, right? So I go back, and I get the purse. And, purse. and it was your girlfriend who left the purse. And, uh-huh. and I asked her, I was like, hey, do you left your purse? And she was like, I don't really need it. <laughs> <laughs> and that is why you guys are perfect hey, for each other. Mermaids don't need purses. Oh, hey. oh boy. Come on. Ah, it's true. Let's it's true. get to the real let fake news. Let her go back to the sea, the Jared. Yes, let's get to the real <laughs> fake news of the week. That's a catch and release, I believe. <laughs> yeah, it is. Catch we could go on and on. Forever. Blamos all around. Uh, the Dems finally did it this week. Impeachment. Oh, man. The I mean, inquiry is on the table. No, I mean, they finally sealed their coffin. Exactly. 
Yeah, so they Jerry, really do you and I talked about this uh, right after it happened because we were about to go live with the Alex Jones thing, and you hadn't heard about this yet, and you would no. you had one of the most interesting comments of it, um, where you had said, uh, look, the Democrats have done one of two things here. Either they know something that, hey, they're going to get them impeached, or that they had met behind closed doors and said, look, we can't beat him with any of our candidates in 2020. Therefore, we've got to go all in on this. And that was probably at that four o'clock meeting with Nancy Pelosi. Yep. Yep. Uh, what are your I thoughts know. on that? Well, Could- you know what? I even further it. And you're, this is going to blow your mind because uh, me and Evan went down that rabbit hole yesterday. And mm-hmm. Evan came. Evan had some perfect insight. Just like you and I were saying, this impeachment is going to completely drown the entire Democratic race out. Yes. Because that's all any media outlet is going to talk about. Mm-hmm. And it's but and so what Evan said is, OK, one of two things on his front. Number one is they knew that they knew that no other candidate other than Biden had a chance. So how do they get nothing but the focal point of Trump and Biden on TV? How do you drown every other candidate out completely right. other than saying the names Trump and Biden mm-hmm. for the next nine months? Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, Evan also thinks, you know, he's got a very he's got a very, very, very tangible uh, uh, idea that that this could <laughs> that's really funny is, OK, you've got the vice president's son. That's randomly over doing uh, over in the Ukraine doing different business things. He goes for five, five, that, five years, by the way. Yeah. Five but years. what does that Daniel? What does that look like? What does what what does that scream right there? It's not a random fucking vice president's son going over there and doing things. What is he? Uh, he's an envoy. Basically. He's a fucking shred. He's a fucking he he's a conduit for the yeah. fucking agency. He's he's yeah. he's doing something. So what's going to happen is 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 even if this is if this is true mm-hmm. if if Biden's son was working under you know as as a knock or or, or some sort of conduit for the agency to be doing something else that's going to be deemed classified Trump's going to be allowed to smear the fuck out of it they're going to hand Trump the file and go uh this is what he was doing he goes yeah great that's classified I can fucking talk all the shit I want. Yeah, the other <laughs> like, thing about this you uh, can't, because if they come forward, they've now broken a federal law. Yeah, right? that, that's the other part of this. So, uh, whomever the quote unquote whistleblower is about all this stuff, mm-hmm. they're going to be required. Like the the investigative team is going to be required to tell President Trump who it was because they breached national security yeah. by doing this. Yes. Uh, yeah. So it wasn't so just this becomes the DNI, a much bigger got, mess. Like this is now like like something that like, like now it's like. Everybody kind of just needs to shut the fuck up in that case. Yeah, the the Dems are fucking uh, themselves over big time. Look, I don't think most Americans know how impeachment actually works. That was my thing. It never really happened in the Clinton situation. No, I mean, they impeached him, but that doesn't mean he... No, no, no. They they recommended articles of impeachment. So to be actually impeached, like to get kicked out of office, first of all, you need 218 votes at a minimum, right, in the House to start the investigation. So this is like a grand jury, basically, right. who's recommending an indictment. Then the Senate is the trial and judge. Right. Okay? 67 out of 100 have to vote to convict him to get him kicked out of office. In the Senate. In the Senate. Correct. That will never, ever fucking happen. Yeah, and, and under actually, any with circumstances. Clinton, for example, he went on trial, but nothing ever... He went on trial, and within 35, and 36 vote. days... The Senate was like, yeah, this is bullshit. Exactly. Yeah. And they, they, they let him yeah. go. Hey, and uh, Jared, we, we actually have breaking news here. Um, they have found out who it was. So the whistleblower who revealed that President Trump sought foreign help in his reelection was uh, a CIA officer who was detailed to work at the White House at one point. Um, according, uh, this is according to three people uh, who know his identity. The man has since returned to the CIA. The people said, and uh, little else is known about him. You guys know more about this than uh, like than most well, of us. I mean, us. Evan, Evan had a great point. He said he'll come on next week and talk about this with us. Okay. Like, you you think a vice president's son is flying to and from the Ukraine, and the intelligence community doesn't know what the fuck's going on? Yeah, yeah, they exactly. know everything. Or, so or it's, isn't or isn't like, hey, wait a minute, like, yeah. you're telling There's me no it takes way. five years for us to go. Oh wait, we didn't even know this was going no, on. No, like, that's yeah, why yeah. it's yeah. more likely that this was. This was a conduit deal. There's something there's something going on. You know, he was working with the intelligence community or somebody of that nature. And but 
he he's absolutely right. That shit is going to be sealed, and Trump is going to be able to talk all the shit he wants about him publicly to to j- essentially bury it and hide it. Like because we can't come out and fucking admit that we're doing this shit. Yeah. So so the uh, the what, left what is, is a CIA officer? Real quick, Dan. What I, is a CIA officer? Yeah, because I don't know what that means. An exactly. officer is what you think of as an agent. The word CIA agent that's not a thing. An agent is somebody that a yeah, CIA case officer, officer. Yeah, case okay. officer, clandestine services. So. Uh, an agent is someone that they recruit, like a foreign diplomat or whatever the fuck. Okay. An officer is the CIA person that you think they are. Right? Now, now, why would he be reassigned to keep working after something this big is blown up? Right. Well, Could you can't. I mean, you. I mean, like in, in the police force, if you shoot somebody and you're, you're under investigation, you get until, put on something yeah. called modified assignment. Mm-hmm. You're still working. You're not out in the field, but you're still working. You're the like fact at a desk, they yeah. take your gun or, away, or 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 they put you in a different sector. Yeah. Like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. You you get in a fucking gunfight with a gang member, you're not going to go to that sector anymore. Yeah. You still needs to be investigated. They don't just. Yeah. I mean, th- this is a long, drawn out process, and it's not going to end anytime soon. Um. So yeah, you put him in an office somewhere, and that's it. He like if he was a case officer, he was uh serving under a station chief in some place somewhere collecting intelligence and developing assets on the ground right uh-huh now he's back at at base and that's not a good if you're a case officer and you're in langley that's not good so my but question is, is like th- this isn't gonna this isn't there's there's no outcome exactly for, i guess for, my for question death, is like, their whole everyone's hanging their hat on this thing where he asked do me a favor right so yeah in these transcripts what exactly did he do wrong? Oh, there's no, in the, not there's no trans- crime. Sorry, the notes. So there's no yeah, crime. There's no, no. He didn't commit treason. No. He didn't, but they he, are going to make you believe that that is, right? No, there's no making you believe it or not. Like the, it's I'm either, sorry, the fake news, the, the real media, fake the news. Media, the, media the media doesn't report. So they you say know, the impeach, bullet points. Yes. Like the, the bullet points were, you know, Biden, and correct me, Dan, if I'm wrong, Biden wanted to withhold a billion dollars that was going that, was going that direction. Right. Right. Um, and Shut then, that fucking kid up. And, and <laughs> <laughs> anyway, just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and and what Trump said was, uh, you know, why don't you look into this stuff with his son before he starts okay. fucking doing this? Yeah, th- is, is this that correct? Th- that's like, that's right. Yeah. So yeah. it was like Trump wasn't out there actively looking for uh, a way to fuck with Biden. It was like Biden was trying to fuck with him, and mm-hmm. he was like, "And he was like, All find right, out, fine. yeah, let's see what he's up to over there." Because he knew Biden's son was over there. He's seen it in fucking classified briefings. I guarantee you. Like the, it, it may seem shady or unethical, but the NSA and the CIA is keeping track of everybody that goes in and out of this country all the time. And if you think they don't, you're fucking naive, honestly. So I, I, as I mean, you a have layman, to, you have to do it in any custom. Any time you go through customs, yeah. yeah. What are you doing here? Exactly. Like the State Department and the CIA have a strained relationship, but they're still sharing information. So as a layman, which they're hoping that you all are, as a dum dum, which I am. Yeah. Yeah, when you're just dumb. watching it, very dumb, yeah. super dumb, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, real dumb. I can't emphasize how dumb I am. Yeah. So, yeah, tiny brain, mm, tiny, tiny, tiny brain. Hair, so, when you're watching hair. TV, you see and you're stupid. You see impeachment. Mm-hmm. You think that means he's out. They won. He's out. Right. That's all they want. Let's impeach him. They don't actually know that that's a long, drawn out process that takes forever. Oh. That doesn't actually result in him leaving. Right. Yeah, me that's and right. Dan. Me and Dan saw it immediately because me and Dan are part of this like small group of 600 people where, that are predominantly left. And yes. we argue in there all day long for entertainment. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> of course. Wait, you, guys, you guys are online. Yes, yeah. it's crazy. It's really right? fun. Yeah, they're they fucking were trolling people. You know, <laughs> yeah. who would have thought that I, you guys would I, troll people? I didn't know that though. That's really <laughs> funny though. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. We're in a predominant left-leaning Facebook group. Right. That is nothing but it's like six hundred people. Good idea people. though. You can see yeah. what they're thinking. Oh yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah. he and I've been doing is, this I've never, since like two thousand eight. Wow. Honestly. I've, I've never seen them pose a, a, a real argument once. And that's no. it. Yesterday, yesterday was their celebration. Oh, yeah. And every it's done. He's finally done it. He's gone. And because like, they don't understand what yeah. it actually means. Yeah, they, they, yeah well, then, that's part of it. That's part of it. The, the other part is they're so desperate to yes. get Trump out yes. yeah, that they don't care if it's real or not. It's yes. kind of like uh, what's the dude that. Um, the lineman that was about to score and then he started fucking around and dropped the ball that time. Who was that? Uh, Leon Lett. Leon Lett, yeah, yeah, for the Cowboys. Yeah, I mean, that was just like, that's that's what the left is doing right now. Here's what they don't understand. And it's not a matter of understanding, actually. They just forgot because it was only 20 years ago. So Clinton gets articles of, of impeachment filed by mm-hmm. Congress. They vote to start the proceedings. And 36 days later... And- 
the fucking Senate's like, this is bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. And then he left office with the second highest approval rating of any president in U.S. history. Wasn't it like 65 percent or something like that? Something like that. 68. Yeah. 68. Wow. But they do. Yeah, but they did get that little scar on his presidency, right? Where no, people, not really. I think does, people does bring anybody, it up. No? Okay. Here's what no, people, right. people. Here's here's another thing to think about, though, too, is Clinton went up for articles of impeachment during a time when the red or to the right was not like sharpshooting trying to get him out. Nobody gave a fuck that he won the like he won the election. Everybody kind of just shut the fuck up and let him be president. Well, the whole oh, partisan thing started in 1994 him. with Newt Gingrich. Uh, that guy is a huge piece of shit, and he's the one that started all this crazy partisan bullshit that exists in America right now. It's not the left that started. It was Newt Gingrich. Yeah, that guy. That yeah. fat could be Ru- He could he could be Russian. Yeah, he may be. He's a yeah, piece of shit. Like uh, here's another thing that nobody's talking about. There's 31 Democrats in Congress right now that mm-hmm. are up for re-election in right-leaning districts in, uh, mm. in 2020. Guess what happens? Congress files articles of impeachment. Doesn't work. Yep. All those fucking Republicans vote them out of office. They lose 30 seats in one year in the fucking House. Yeah. You know how big a fucking swing that is? That's a 60, <laughs> that is a 60 seat swing if they lose those. Yeah. Places, man, that's crazy. It's massive, and I, I just can't understand why you would do this unless you uh, literally got behind closed doors and said, "We cannot beat him in 2020." What do we do here? here here's what it is. I think it's uh, somebody on ice, right? And they're just fucking hitting it with a baseball bat. They're hitting the ice over and over with a fucking sledgehammer. Now, holy shit, they're gonna break through. <laughs> you don't want to break through, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Like, and I everybody mean, else can point, see it. Now, everybody else can see like, what they're doing. They're like, uh, you may not want to do that. And they're like, eh, fuck you. We're going to break through this ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. They're just so fucking lost it that it's like, fuck it. Let's, let's just keep this circus going. That's uh, all hey, it is. Jared, let me ask you this personally because you, no one hates AOC more than you. Although I, I could see you fucking her. Um, oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you think part of this? was that AOC and those guys have virtually just taken over that the Democratic Party in the last two years. Yeah, and they've taken all the... Well, notice also, too, in the last, like, 35, 40 days, like, you haven't heard shit out of AOC, which makes you wonder, did the Democratic Party get together and go, hey, you need to shut the fuck up? I you sure, dis- for their sake, I disappear sure hope yeah, exactly. from Disappear from the media, because, you know, and then you've got... Omar, who fucking is in a whole wheel <laughs> field of mess, yeah, with her husband and her affair and, and her brother, her and the, and the married the brother. Yeah, yeah, she's not been f- talking too much lately either. No, she hasn't uh, said h- shit. Here's the real problem, though, and why I think it's likely that Democrats, the Democratic leadership, has told these people to shut the fuck up because now people who have been historically middle of the road Democrats are having they left. They're having to either they're having to get crazier to get the sound bites that they need to stay relevant. Mm-hmm. So like Adam Schiff today, fucking his opening statement in the Senate or the House Intelligence Committee uh, thing was was just bullshit. He just made up, he did a parody. He was like, well, Trump essentially said blah, blah, blah. He didn't say any of that, actually, motherfucker. You're a fucking sitting congressman. You're on the fucking se- our House Intelligence Committee. You're part of this uh, investigation. And your opening uh, salvo is a bunch of shit that you just made up. What was the hashtag on Twitter today? Uh, full of shiff. <laughs> nice. <laughs> really? So people yeah. are people are calling him out about it? That it's oh, yeah. All- yeah. Everybody's yeah. calling him out. Probably not MSNBC because they're a bunch of fucking wackos. So let's go round robin here. We'll start with you, Jared. What do you think the end result is of this impeachment inquiry? And what does it do for 2020? Well, I mean, if it's like anything else, you, you're... You're going to see you're going to see something come up that's a roadblock for it. And then they're going to fucking scream. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like they're going to they're going to start they're going to start the grumblings of this. And some 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 roadblock is going to get in their way and they're going to fucking piss it, pitch a fit and cry. And then every fucking buddy on the left is going to freak out about it's corruption. He has control of these people, blah, blah, blah. You're going to see that this whole way. Yeah. Somebody Uh, at some point is going to invoke the National Security Act of 1947 and say we can't answer that question and then what and then nothing then the right That's it. Are, then the yeah. left the left is going to say oh you're fucking hiding stuff and blah yeah we oh, are it's corrupt we're hiding it's secrets like, we're hiding we're secrets because that's what you do secrets. with secrets bitch and the other result of this <laughs> is that all those fucking districts that these uh republicans are in and our uh, democrats are in and right-leaning districts at least 20 to 40 percent of them are going to lose 
So you're looking at like about 15, 10 to 15 seats that are going to flip flop. Remember, you double that. Sure. To see what the seat swap's going to be. So it's going to be a fucking 20 to 30 person swap in the House. They're, the left is going to lose the House. They're not going to take the Senate. And the Republicans are going to have all three houses. They're going to have the executive and, branch and the and both houses Court. of Congress. And the Supreme and Court. And the Supreme Court. It's fucking done, son. <laughs> yeah. So, so you, you've got Trump in 2020, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jesse? What happened? 2020? Yeah. Um, uh, Trump, I think this is just uh, same as the Russia investigation. It's going to be a big nothing, but it is going to take up a lot of time. Because of, yeah. the thing is, at the end of the day, like, he may be somewhat of a buffoon, and he won't shut up sometimes when sure. he should. But the guy doesn't actively try and, like, fuck over the country or break the law. <laughs> yeah. No, he doesn't try to. He's not no. like, ooh, what can I use my power for? I mean— Dan, how many executive orders has he given? Uh, not many. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, Obama like, has given How many the executive same, orders did more, Obama right? do? Although this whole thing with the border, uh, even Republicans are telling him to get fucked on that. Like yeah. they, they voted uh, yesterday, I believe, to deauthorize the fucking uh, na- national state of emergency he was using to move funds yeah, to yeah, build yeah. a border wall. Yeah. So, by the way, the border wall is fucking stupid. Sorry. Tunnels, bitch. Planes, yeah. boats. The border wall is fucking stupid. It needs to be more a technological thing. Yeah. yeah. It needs to be people and fucking tech. Mm-hmm. That's how you defeat that. Not a fucking wall. Man. Yeah. God Hot damn. air balloons with miniguns. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, the Australian army, you can get a fucking, you can get uh, jump wings from a hot air balloon. It's a little hot air balloon. I, I think the That's wall, cool. per, uh, no, per, by the way, I think the wall personally, I, I don't think that Trump thinks it's going to stop him. It's, it's, it's a psychological deterrent, I think. It's not for anybody that really matters. So look, our problem isn't uh, fucking Jose and his and, and and his wife trying to get over here to have a better life. Our problem is terrorism and fucking narco terrorism, mm-hmm. right? And that shit isn't going to do anything. All it's going to do is make Jose go to these narco terrorists, spend all their money on that to get over here, give the narco terrorists more fucking money, and then they're going to have a wider operation, a wider spanning operation. And they're going to start using these people as mules to get them into the country and tunnels and shit. All you do is create a criminal smuggling class when you do that. It's fucking stupid. And look, I understand, I'm, I'm for border security just like everybody else, but there's a right way to do things, yeah. and there's a fucking stupid way to cost $10 billion, and it doesn't make any goddamn sense. So what would be, what would be the way then? I just told you. No, I, but a real solution. like Tech. Tech. tech so, because when you say tech, what does that mean exactly in, well, your, in your mind? Here's a real— Talking like aerostats. Yeah, I mean, there, there's a couple. Tech is a big one. So one, there's— uh, 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 seismological uh, detectors that you put on the border to see if people are digging tunnels under the ground and mm-hmm. finding those things. That's one. Two is putting actual human beings on the border, not a fucking wall, right? Uh, the other part is making the immigration process a little fucking, you know, more sensical because it's stupid as fuck now. Like, if you're in this country, like, of, of the... Uh, forces you to kind of sneak in. <laughs> yeah, the 13 million people that are in this country illegally right now, they have, like, if they wanted to become legal which is a normal thing to do. By the way, they contribute 10 times more in fucking taxes and social security than they cost the federal government. That's a fucking fact. At any rate. But if they wanted to actually do if it. If they wanted to do it, they have to leave the country and then mm-hmm. apply from over there and then mm-hmm. come back and in. It it's takes fucking like years dumb, and dude. It's, it's so it's goddamn really stupid. It's a really long, horrible process, yeah. It right. is. The other, the other thing is, here's what Germany and Poland did back in the 1990s. So Polish people were fucking crossing the German border working illegally, right? Mm-hmm. So what Germany did was issue work permits... I, I wrote a paper on this in college, by the way. What the German government Ooh, did is... What the college? Wow. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> what the, what the German... Ah. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. 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 Mr. Mr. You are American college. Enjoy your opiate. Okay. Oh, oh. I, need, I need a big, strong American college degree. Fall on the floor. It's an American oh, dream. I just need to enjoy oh my, my God, opioids. Gonna, where's oh, your gun? I need okay, a, you guys, calm oh. down. His gun's right there. I need in front of him. soft massage for college boy. <laughs> <laughs> what are we saying, Dan? <laughs> Dan, sorry. Move go. it along. Resting okay, Dan go. face. Resting no, Dan. No, what, what's RDF? Uh, RDF. So they issued work permits to Polish people after uh-huh. doing a background check on them. They came over every day and left at night, right? They worked on in the, all those border towns in Germany. And if you were a German business and you employed somebody that didn't have that work permit, your business was sh- not, not fined, shut down. It was it for you. You were done. Okay. So they seized all your assets. 
They fucking, all, your money, your fucking property, everything. Took it all away, and then they fucking, you're, you're done as a business person. Uh, that would work. Yeah, right. it would. Yeah. Yeah, because nah. that's the problem, Whoa. man. That's the problem. It's the same thing with enforcing drug policy. We go arrest <laughs> people that are buying dime bags of fucking cocaine and shit like that. Yeah, that's that. fucking stupid. It's fucking yeah. dumb, that's fucking man. Stupid. Yeah. Like oh. you can't you can't enforce policy like that. It's pe- the big people are who you know you have to fucking fuck with. It's the employers, right? Yeah, people that are hiring illegals. Well, I will say this: yeah. the, the one thing that California got right because they were the first to put up the, the medical marijuana. Yeah, and it slowed down the drugs coming in across the border, so at yeah. least every other state could figure that the fuck out. Yeah. Uh, that was one for them. So maybe uh, I don't know, legalize weed everywhere. Uh, start start there. I mean, I it's think supply and demand. I mean, it's. Pretty I think basic, that'll be right? a tactic during this election. Yeah, it's it, look, we're we're super close to what is it, thirty eight states that need to pass it, and then it yeah. becomes a federal. Well, thing. I mean, they still have to vote. Like somebody has to put up a bill, and then they have to vote for it. But it would be really bizarre. It would be hard to get reelected in your state as a senator. If you voted if against, against something it, that was legal yeah. in your state, that'd be stupid, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll I, look, see. I agree. Um, for all you college kids out there who need a mattress, <laughs> go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bro. Oh, you went, oh, ooh, you smart. Pop me on Ghostbed. Yeah. yeah. You went to college? Put me on a mattress. Got me a nice pillow. Uh, Hit ghost- me in face with shovel. <laughs> What? Wait, what accent are we? What? I'm so confused. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? It's Who knows? all fun, huh? Look, if Just you're having all a fake, it's fake yeah. news. It's all fake news. If you're Accents a rub and shop out there, they're going to give you a discount on uh, if you order eight or more mattresses. That is not a real thing because uh, this is fake news. Okay, let's but go real. it can be. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today if you are military. Or first responder, you get 15% off all of their goodies, pillows, sheets, uh, adjustable bases, college boys, mattresses. You know what? We should ask Ghostbed, like, like, we need to give some light to the second responders. You know, guys like the CSI crew, the okay. crime okay. scene, crime scene photographers. Yes. You know, what about them? What about, what about the, the second responders? What about I the like third? That. What about the third responders? The people in their pajamas and flip flops that are standing on the outside of the police. <laughs> uh, the looky loos. Yeah. What about yeah. them? The old looky loos. Or the fourth <laughs> responders, who are the people that stick around afterwards because they want to do those funny ass interviews. Mm. The yeah. fourth responders. Or the fifth responders who are just there to fuck the dead bodies. Uh, okay, nope. moving on. Took it too far. <laughs> Took it too far. Yeah. Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. As always, 36 months pay as you go program. No interest. Jeez. No one on the internet is offering that. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Get yourself a mattress. It's a judgment free zone. It is. It's like Planet Fitness. Uh, next up, a walrus no. was defending her cubs uh, when, look, she uh, sank a Russian Navy boat into the Arctic Ocean. Uh, whew. that's a tough one to explain, isn't it? So they, it was a landing craft. It wasn't like a fucking giant vessel or anything like that. How big? What are we looking oh, at? Oh, so it was like a dinghy. Uh, it, it, <laughs> I don't know if it was. You just wanted to say like dinghy. a zodiac. Yeah, I, don't, no, I, like I would say it's probably about a zodiac, but still, that's. Motherfucker, I watched Rambo the fourth one the other day. Come on, I'm an expert. Is it the new one? Did you watch the new one? No, not the new one. The, oh, the one fourth one is John one. Rambo where he's in Vietnam still or whatever. Big, he's in Burma. Big fan. Oh, I was a big fan of that one. Who gives a fuck about any of those shithole countries? That's Burma? Burma? Yeah. No. Burma. Oh, Dan there. said shithole country. Yeah. <laughs> there is something called, I made up uh, when I was in the army called the Burmese Blumpkin. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> it's when you're getting, you know what a Blumpkin is? Oh, yeah. Who, who doesn't know what it is? Me. Really? Anyway, uh, why do on, I not Jesse? know? I know, I know, I know. I should, why are you right? Yeah. So dumb. So a blumpkin so is so dumb, dude. Blumpkins <laughs> where you're getting uh, your dick sucked while you're taking a shit. Basically. Yeah, you're gonna blow a job uh, while yes, taking a shit. Yes, yeah. that old yeah. nut. So the yeah, <laughs> blump, the Burmese <laughs> blump. Got it, got it, got it, got it. The Burmese blumpkin came from uh, from Batman actually when. It's bat- the second one with Christian Bale where uh, homeboy Michael Caine is talking about the Joker and how they were chasing that guy that wanted to f- that was stealing rubies or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they just burned the whole fucking forest down yeah. to find him. So the Burmese Blumpkin is where uh. you're getting a regular Blumpkin and you set your pubes on fire. Ah. Oh, oh, I like regular that. Blumpkin. Yeah, it's or, or the Amazon lot, Blumpkin. There's a lot going on there. Look, a lot no, of, what do you think's there. worse, the, uh, the smell of the techniques. dick? 
the smell of the shit or the smell of the burning uh, pubes. Oh yes, yes, yes. Ooh, I'm gonna t- sure. I'm gonna top it nair on pubic hair is uh, Ooh, for the win on that one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's called the fulcrum bumpkin. Yep. The full fulcrum. <laughs> fulcrum. The, yeah, you got to go fulcrum. The fulcrum the bumpkin. bumpkin. Yeah. Okay. The f- fulcrum. You nair up <laughs> everywhere, head to toe. Uh, get not, the, not one hair on your body. Let that burn. Let that stink set in. No, you want a really good smell. You mix. <laughs> you go. <laughs> yes, this is Jared, not going to end well. I can we'd tell like already. a really good I smell. I can tell already by the inflection in his <laughs> voice that I'm going to vomit later. Six part, six to two nair. <laughs> and mayonnaise in a bucket oh, and, and then you just two. put that all over your body and yeah. bathe in the sun why wouldn't you say three Oof. to one Oof. simplify that I fraction like, buddy. i like six to two, yeah, you know, six six to part, two. Just go part. three to one and double it let's do nah. that three to one double it jerry goes <laughs> nair, nair to mayo nair yep. to best foods mayonnaise absolutely you get it There's you lay no other right kind. in the is there sun? any particular brand of mayonnaise it, that best foods in what? a sandals resort, Best you foods. lay right on one of the pool yep. the pool chairs. Mm. What? Like, what? And you just let that mayonnaise crust over with yep. that yellow that yellow uh, hard crust. That it's egg, called a rind. Let that egg harden and in there. And then yeah, then you take a you take a, a credit card and then you start the scrape. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like your American <laughs> Airlines gold card just yeah, scraping just... off your crust. You know. <laughs> I've, I've got, I've got, I've got forty three thousand miles on this card. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You start scraping. Black, talking about American your expenses spirit. under your breath as you do this in the pool shower. Like, <laughs> I think we should make. Do you know those old like dating ad VHS tapes people used to make back in the eighties? I think. We should oh start yeah, doing yeah. That. Uh, that'd be nice. No, yes. I pitched real nice. I pitched Jack recently on. Uh, I really wanted to. Uh, I want to do an infomercial on JT and Jack's stock footage package. I love so that. So it's like well, that'd be it's great. Like, Here's two shirtless men yep. throwing a body into a dumpster, and like, you can search in 4K. It. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 in 4K with a green screen. It shows yeah. up on yeah. Getty Getty images yeah. that you can pay for this stock <laughs> photo of of a nude <laughs> dead body. Jack would do all of those nude. Of by that. the way, look oh, if I you know. if you had a site called like fucked up. Uh, stockphotos.com. I would go to it. I'd, I'd, go to I'd be there every com. single day. Same. Yep. Yeah. Same. Making the best memes. Who gives look. a shit about this goddamn walrus, by the way? I, yeah, I mean, this not, walrus I story is kind of stupid. I don't look. I don't fucking. I, I don't understand how it could sink a boat, though. Um, I, I mean, walrus, walry are very large animals. They are, but are they bigger than this Ooh. boat? Is it bigger uh, than this boat? I don't know if they're bigger, but they're probably stronger, right? I, stronger than a boat. Stronger Look, it's like a zodiac. Boat. What is a zodiac? Like fucking stronger fourteen feet or some shit? It's not big. Stronger than a boat. No. Okay. No, Let's not, move on. It's not stronger the than zodiac, a boat. The zodiac, how big is it? Never mind. Ah, it's like fucking twelve feet. Who cares? Oh, right. well there then the go. walrus might be bigger than that. Yeah. 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 Maybe. Yeah. Walruses are fucking huge. I think yeah. walry is is uh the Dan went to college. Dan yeah. went to college, so yeah. he knows. Oh, that's, oh, oh you, ooh, you smart? So that's what I learned in college was uh, the plural of I've got walrus. some breaking news. Yep. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. I don't know away. what you learned in college, obviously. You know, right Facebook launched a dating app? Yes, they did. Uh, they did. Yeah. Gross. And um, now it's just nope. a button. Uh, like, I just have to launch Facebook, and I just click a button. Yeah. And you've been doing it all morning. Yeah, have you, have you tried it out yet? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's it, what's it like? What's the, give us the I rundown. Like it. Really? I like it. It's, it's Yeah. This quality, because I mean, you got to think about this, okay? Their database, yeah. Yeah. Hear me? yeah, yeah. You've got 4.8 billion yeah. users on Facebook. It's become part of culture. Facebook is comfortable with everybody. That means, yeah. you know, Tender, Bumble, Hinge, all that other shit. Like, people aren't comfortable with those apps. A lot of people aren't even comfortable downloading a new app and putting it on their phone. Yeah, like, yeah. And now you've, I, I mean, Facebook does this with everything. You know, they did it with Instagram, Snapchat, everything. It's like, hey, you, you know, they're doing it to PayPal. They're like. How do we how do we add a feature and then weaken the market and then buy all these people up? So it's yeah. like, hey, they want to buy Tinder, buy Bumble. Like, all right, let's add a feature that makes it as easy as you launch your Facebook app and you literally now just have a heart in the bottom here and you click it and that's the dating. That's that's Tinder on Facebook. You're fucking kidding me. Dang. Dude, wow, dude. Fucking, plus, I love the way that it, it it tells you who has who has liked you. Okay. So, so like, I can just go through and see a, a slew of, of people that have already said they want to talk to me. It's fascinating. Really? Yeah. 
No shit. So how do you? What's the difference between that and Tinder? Like, how do you get to somebody's house and? Well, under like Tinder, you gotta minutes? pay. You have to pay monthly if you want to see who has swiped right on you. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. Now Facebook, it's free. They show you who nice. who liked you. Yeah, been married for a long time. Have not uh, used the Tinder, but I will say this: Tinder itself is now launching a ri- original programming. So I imagine those dating shows that you guys what? are talking about. Yes. And it's going to be on the app, on correct? The app? Um, and so is uh, Snap, Snapchat and and WhatsApp. They're they're also doing. Uh, they haven't said yet what their original programming is, but they've signed on for four shows. I imagine they're going to be some form of dating show on there. Um, so everybody's trying to get an original co- content these days. But uh, that was a shocker when that That's popped weird. up today. Yeah. Was like, that is weird. Ah, Tinder, huh? Well, anything with a bunch of well, users will pitch. try and do some kind of. I wanted to pitch Tinder a show. Like, oh. You get a bus. You put five <laughs> oh, chicks. Boy. A Greyhound? Five, yeah, just, just like a tour bus. Eh, or five a, girls. Let's say a Greyhound from your house like to bang, Dallas. Like bang bus? Five girls, five guys. They're competing. You go to a new city every like three days. You have three days to Somebody execute did this. as Isn't many it called dates. Third Wheel or something like that? Yeah, or I Next. Know. You have something. Next? No, it's not the same. Let's that do. That sounds really familiar, bro. I, I say this. Here's here's the dating show that the world all needs, right? Jared, four girls on a Greyhound bus. Okay. <laughs> There's a bunch of other people on there. Whoever Jared but, doesn't like, he yeah. makes them get off way before their stop. Uh huh. Um, with with and then he nothing. He keeps going cross country with the Greyhound. All of their purses. But stay. in order to get on the bus, you need to actually leave your apartment. You can't go back to it. Nope. You need to sub like Sublet get it. rid of it. Mm-hmm. You put you it need in to a, move yeah, you put it to, everything in a Yeah, in, in a storage, storage container. So you, yeah. want, so you have you want, nothing to come back to. You want That's it to be point. high stakes is the point. Yeah, yeah. Well, I want it to be like Jared's relationship. So they mm. move everything, okay? <laughs> they move everything into a storage container. They have nothing to go back to. They have to quit their job. Yeah. They have to tell their parents that they're getting married even yep. though they aren't. Yep. And then they get on the bus with Jared, <laughs> and Jared <laughs> picks one to go all the way, and the other ones that get kicked like off in random the bachelor, cities. Yep. For, for, so it goes from San Antonio to your parents' place in Jacksonville, yep. and then the, the winner the gets to meet one. your parents, uh-huh. and then we get to see the, the look of disappointment in your yep. mom's eyes when you say you're getting married again. Because you've yeah. chosen. Greatest show of all time. And obviously it would be that is a good show. the worst choice out of the five. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It will not For be sure. the good, the, no the one stable. W- yeah. No. I've I've been thinking I mean, about. I think Drinking Bros needs to start producing. Oh yeah, we hey. need. Hey man, I, look, I, that would be the first on my docket. Is no lie, just because we're talking about this out loud right now. Yeah. Like, dude, you and like fifteen girls on a bus, right? It's just a Drinking oh. Bros tour bus, and then they <laughs> shoot that. That you shoot that exact series, and you drop them off city by city, San Antonio <laughs> to Jacksonville, nothing. and then you get to the, your parents' house, and your mom is just like. Fucking a! It's kind of old I would school. Do that. It's kind of old school. Bam Margera too. Please write in if you would like to be a contestant. And then we have to on... leave the girls with some kind of cameraman. So like one small camera, so we could see them trying to like call people, get back home. <laughs> they have nothing, right? They have no money. They've oh left everything God, behind. This is fucking funny. I like it. Call their boss. Ask for their job back. Your mom has a very like April disappointment um, from drinking bros. From Viva drinking La Bam, bros yeah. Ultimate single. Yeah. Oh yes. my God. That would be the greatest of all time. And then you just keep dropping one a week, and then at the end of the twelve weeks. Boom, you get married again. Boom. Um, I'm at, uh, yeah, yeah, in my parents' backyard without me even telling them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. On jet skis. Yeah. On, like, on jet have, skis, everything. We have a priest there. <laughs> yes. Like, you guys are yes. in tuxes and, yes. and dresses. Like, they're like, what the fuck's going on? Uh, another wedding. Yeah. Uh, another <laughs> Not wedding. just a wedding, real quick. <laughs> no <A> wedding. <laughs> wedding, real quick. Oh, um. It'd be great. If you're listening to this, Tinder, buy this show. That would be amazing. Next up, a former U.S. cop claims. The FBI may be helping cover up Prince Andrew's alleged role in the Jeffrey Epstein sex abuse scandal. Not surprised. Not at all. No, so this is the guy, by the way, who was using the puppet of himself to touch yes. women. Yes, well, yes, women, yes. but children. Mm-hmm. Yes. Children. <laughs> and a, and young, a, and a puppet, young girls. And, and a puppet that looks oh like my. himself. It was yeah, it like, wasn't, it wasn't like uh, a puppet you might see in a therapist's office or like Jeff Dunham, for example. Right. <laughs> right. It was a puppet of himself. Yeah. Which oh, is, God. for Dunham. some reason, and I can't put my finger on why, makes it way worse. <laughs> it's 
you know? so disgusting. Is it weird that if like if I were to have a puppet, it would be of myself? No, if you had a puppet, it would absolutely be of yourself. Yeah, yes. Ross, yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. If you have yeah. anything, oh, yeah. it's of yourself. For all the reasons that all the audience can think of right now. <laughs> right. Fair enough. Fair so enough. Ross, Ross couldn't handle having a puppet of someone else. No. No, no, no. no there'd be no point. Uh, no, nah, he's right, because I'm not a big fan of puppets. Uh, but if I had to have one, yes, it would, would be of me, so that way I could... I could chat as me. Uh, with this story here, though, it absolutely does not shock me because this is probably the highest guy up the food chain here. When you get a, when you get a prince involved um, in the Epstein thing. I, mean, I think President Clinton is probably the highest. But I don't think – I think he's untouchable in this. Do you? He's, too, he's so old now. Oh. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You think he dies before this shit leaks out? Uh, yeah, probably. How old is he right now? How old is Bill Clinton? Uh, he's the same age as Trump, I think. 72, I believe. Ah! The Bill's going to live a while. Maybe he's lived a pretty cushy life. I th- isn't he the same age as Trump? I'm not sure. He looks older simply because. 73. 73, yeah. yeah. Same age. Around yep. the same age. Um, and he, he looks, looks older way because. Old. Way yeah. older. Because he's lived with Hillary Clinton for the last yeah. 50 years. Can you imagine oh, that God. shit? And yeah. A bunch of sh- and a bunch of God. shame. But yeah. Yeah. Bunch of shame. I, but there is not a single photo of Hillary like in any point of in her, her life that I look at and go, oh, I'd come home to that. Oh my God! Yeah, it's even worse when she's younger. Is it really? Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, because now she's glasses? got an excuse. Exactly. Uh, like she's old right. as fuck now. It's like, yeah. oh yeah, of course she's the headband. Fucked. You're right because you you, you, you do automatically assume that women are hotter when they're younger. So you're like, ah, oh, all right, cool. At one point, she had to have been. There good are a looking. lot of chicks I think that I've known personally that got way hotter as they got older. I don't know if it's just discovering yourself or finding a, a look that works for you or whatever. Yeah. yeah. She never found Being that. No. 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 She's uh, trying. Or she didn't find her emails either, by the way. No. I think they're both missing. <laughs> blame them. That's uh, what happens when you have 15 <laughs> smashed up Blackberries. I, I blame Blackberry uh, for that. Yeah, they should have made a better phone. Is... That's Research in Motion. That's the name of that company, by the way. Is it really? Yes. <laughs> R-I-M. Rim. Bill Clinton is 6'2". Is he really? I'll I dunk on that old not. bitch. Fuck him. <laughs> Get Bill Clinton. Hey, drink your bros. Go find me Bill Clinton and let's dunk on let's him. Let's dunk on that bitch. Can you imagine? <laughs> Fuck him. Uh, speaking of keeping things secure, next up we got expressvpn.com forward slash oh, drinking yeah. bros. Uh, they're keeping all of your shit secure, real secure. Uh, they're keeping soups secure. All soups. Keeping all your soups secure. Um, Jared, your I soup? I love some soup. You, yeah, you're soup. Hey, yeah, you guys were getting ratted out the other day by fucking. What's her name? She said you're talking about my soup addiction. Yeah, because you yeah. were you were talking all goddamn day about oh I'm gonna go back to the hotel yeah, bar man. and get some chicken wings, I'm gonna man. Fucking crush you ordered some wings, you bro. ordered tortilla soup at fucking ten p.m. Yeah, you didn't. Yeah, because I had three snack pizzas. Oh, we boy. didn't know about that. Yeah, we didn't know all about that. All we saw was the soup, Jared. I feel I feel like I was with you all day. Where did you Where get did you snack pizzas? Get the pizzas. Were they in when your did fucking that pocket? Were there? No, they were in a freezer. I just microwaved them. Yeah, I saw them eating. Yeah. I saw them, I saw them eating all throughout the they day. They were just those little deep dishes. Exactly, and I was like, "Where the fuck are you getting this food? You brought, he brought <laughs> it with put him. him in my backpack. You brought it with him. Yeah, we, That's we didn't why have he's any wearing food. cargo pockets. I, exactly. Uh, are you just using <laughs> Alex Jones's microwave? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was. Bro. <laughs> hey, what? Alex Jones, real quick. One of, one of his producers walks in and he goes, oh, are you guys eating? And I was like, I don't think so. I, I was like, think I, think, so. I think catering was just here. And it was like, nope, Jared had just t- taken something Someone out of the microwave. Yeah. So to Alex corner. Jones, we apologize. <laughs> Sorry about that pizza. Listen, that Alex appreciates food microwave. as much as me. All right, fine. He does. He's in pretty good shape, though, uh, that guy yeah. is. Uh, at ExpressVPN.com, you can protect all of your shit. Uh, laptops, uh, hard tops. Hard tops for sure, yeah. Black tops. Uh, black ops. You can protect everything on there. iPhones, iPads, you oh, name it. Watch porn at ExpressVPN.com forward slash drinking bros. Uh, look, the, you can watch porn at work. You can break all your firewalls, and it'll keep all of your account information safe and all of your passwords. Uh, go to ExpressVPN.com forward slash drinking bros today, and for $7 a month, you can protect all your devices, and you get three months for free if you sign up for a year at ExpressVPN.com forward slash drinking bros or try the promo code drinking bros. So... Uh, we'll see. Either way, I think the promo code should automatically go in when you go to the landing page. Ah, one would think. Uh, next up, Massachusetts. Um, that's how you say that state, right, Dan? I believe uh, so, yeah. College boy? I did go to college. Uh, yeah, you did. That's one it? of the. Th- 
It's, uh, right. it's there's no spelling. M a double i k o c k. There what? you go. There's there there's more there's more k's, but you're on the right track. Yeah, yeah. you're on the right track. Sound right to me. They Marco banned Marco. vaping across the board, so there is no vaping in the state of well Massachusetts. They banned the sale of vape products, but you can't stop sale. people from vaping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and oh, it's really? only it's only for four months, by the way, while they quote unquote test to find out what's blah blah blah. Here, uh. I, I just want to like. I want to break down some of these numbers for you. Go ahead. Because it's so goddamn break stupid. Break them down. Yeah. Uh, Just break them down. Something like 480,000 people a year die from cigarette smoke, right? Uh-huh. 480,000 per year. That's die. a lot. That's a lot, yeah. Yeah. Uh, nine people have died from bad vape juice. Ooh, I know eight of them. Yeah. They were all you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're on your last life there, They're all my cat. fraternity <laughs> brothers, and I'm sorry, man. We'll miss you. Uh, man, I love me some cat meat. <laughs> <laughs> Cats, a lot of cats thank have died. Thank you, Jared. A lot yeah. of cats have what? died from what? secondhand like vaping. No, thank you for your contribution. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Thank yeah, you. No, Dan is absolutely right. Nine people die, and all of a sudden we're banning yeah, shit. Exactly. Like, we, are like fucking, we don't understand like, what it does. Get the fuck out of here. Who thinks that people the need tobacco to shut the companies fuck up. behind this? Um, that, and I think homosexuals, because I think uh, they're getting a bad rap on this, where it's like, oh, my homosexuals sure. vape, and it's sure. like, that is not true. It is mostly dirtbag straight people <laughs> who are just, I'm trying to quit. <sighs> I'm trying to oh, quit. Yeah. You know what I love seeing is just, yeah, that, that hole that's about the size of a dick that some dude is just sucking down and then <laughs> blowing, <laughs> blowing like Copious this cloud. Amounts, yeah. Of, yeah. Like just, huge I feel just like if you're dude, vaping out like, of anything that's not a jewel. You should be. It should be have to be dick shaped. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah, like yeah. one of those. I big think Derek fucking did that. Big Derek rigs. did that video where yeah. he was vaping out of a fucking dildo. Yeah. Well, I, so I, I will say this. I think they know something bigger is going down across the nation because the head of Jewel just stepped down two days ago. So well, I, it's just bad I, PR. But yeah. I think. Well, I think they know that they're probably going to ban all this shit. The only way we use. Jewels or any vaping products is for weed. Yeah, and this includes weed, by the way. Which it is does. That was my next question because yeah. yesterday Massachusetts also passed uh, a law for marijuana delivery. So if you're going to deliver it, are we just delivering flour and no vapes now, or what are we yeah. going to do with for it? the next for the next four months? Yeah. Fuck that, yep. dude. I'm going to stay out of that state for four months. Yeah, man. I could go for some sushi. Yeah, you could. Oh, boy. What, what's yeah. uh, what? So what's really going to happen though is that. People are going to start smoking cigarettes again, right? That's like you don't probably you don't start. I don't think anybody starts nicotine by vaping. I guess the idea is that the kids are yeah, doing that. I agree. Well, good for them. Okay. Eh. I, <laughs> look, I think I think vaping should be limited to it's getting out of hand. Weed, yeah. Uh, and there is a vaping uh, Olympics, by the way. There's a competition that they, they hold once it. a year. I don't. I, I don't, don't care. Hear you're, you're you're making like, a personal those... judgment, and that's fine for you. But look we are up. we're not into the taking our personal judgments and making them into federal law. I am. Yeah. Right? No, yeah. let's not do that. <laughs> Unless you want to be Ellen Omar, motherfucker. Let's, let's avoid that bullshit. If people want to yeah. vape, let them yeah, vape. Yeah, we don't. We There's don't only care. been like, vape, vape. out of the care. millions and millions of people that do this, there have been five, in total, 534 injuries. Yeah. Like, that's it. Uh, here's the injury I've had, Dan. I was at a concert recently. Yep. I turned to somebody who was vaping and I said, oh shit, can I take a hit of that? And they said, oh, well, it's not weed. And I was like, fuck you, dude. Way to waste my time. You yeah, know what you I'm saying? You can't make all law vape, because of your feelings are hurt. I mean, my feelings were hurt on that one. Yeah, but Let's, you can't. I, I need to be able to recognize who's smoking weed and who's just vaping bullshit into yeah, their well, mouth. If they I've look like me. vaped. Do you really? Yeah. I've never seen you vape in my face. I mean, it's not the real one. It's like the blue. Uh, all right. I understand that. Yeah, because I'm stupid, but I'm just saying. Like, yeah. Yes, I have. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, e either way, how long do you think this this holds up, Dan? Four months, and that's it. So you think it'll be over after that? Uh, yeah, unless they can prove that it's causing something, because somebody's going to sue. Be like, look, you can't tell me not to do something just because you think it might be bad. Mm. That doesn't work. Yeah. That's that's prohibition. Otherwise, you, ha yeah, you have to do it Weren't with alcohol. Weren't they unregulated you do it with... before this, though? So how many people have died to... from granola bars? Uh, Forty. Well, 9, you know, 000. George W. Bush almost died from a fucking pretzel. We're gonna ban those two. There you go. Yes, mm. please. I think we made them smaller. Is what happened. No, nope. I think we made them smaller. Mm. Uh, I look, think we put cheese inside. Tr them. Truthfully, I, I don't. Oh come on! Oh, <laughs> that's a nice thing. Um, I, I, vaping, either way, I, I, I'm with you. I really don't give a shit um, what you want to do. I think it's funny for the people of Boston, though, because if you're gonna force 
motherfuckers to smoke cigarettes, look, it's Boston, right? Yeah, Bo- Boston <laughs> and everywhere south of there is going to be cheaping up the place. So it's going to be like just a cloud of smoke now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Tommy. Tommy, <laughs> out, inside oh, and outside the bar. They won't let us vape. We're going to smoke. I need to see Brady. Let me Tom ask you Brady. this. Let me ask you this. How many people in uh, Boston and the surrounding areas are named Megan? How, what do you think? Oof. Over under six, seven million? <laughs> Probably higher. Six, a lot million. of Megan's. Yeah, Megan's. A lot of Megan. Megan. How many children? Hey, Megan. How many children under the age of nine are named Tommy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tom, 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 terrific. Tom, Tom, Tom terrific. terrific. Oh. Shut Tom, the terrific. Fuck up. New England sucks. Uh, next up, uh, we get a Bay Area police Tesla. Didn't know that was a thing Good. that Bay Area police um, had Teslas. Uh, near dead battery. Forces officer off of pursuit. This is one of my favorite things that ever happened. Same here. Honestly, it's- why the fuck <laughs> is the fucking police force? What? You're- there you are, bro. S- Sorry, we were I giving you a minute. Stomping around I thought off we had screen. some sushi. I thought we had some. Somebody <laughs> ate it. You can't wait 20 <laughs> Dude, goddamn minutes for this bro. show to be over, you fat turd. <laughs> <laughs> what? We've lost him, guys. We've lost him. Jared, you're free to needed, go, buddy. I just needed you're free some to go. sustenance. All right, well, just go ahead and Jared's going to get a baby Bjorn. We'll take it from here, He's going to get a baby Bjorn, and it's going to be no. m- many fridge. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Why the fuck is the police department buying Teslas? Exactly. Who the fuck knows, dude? It's Fremont, by the because way, where San Michael Francisco. B. Jordan got shot in that movie. By the way, ah, yeah, Fruitvale by the Station. way, okay. again, your, your thought process of, oh, my God, we're saving the fucking environment. You're a fucking idiot. Yeah. Climate change is a myth. We're all in a simulation. <laughs> fuck the earth. Fuck all of you for thinking that it's any different. <laughs> like, you're fucking dumb. <laughs> all right. It's the only way to explain it. Why the fuck do you think there's space? This is funny, though. I like when hippies <laughs> fail. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What do you do at this point? So what? What, what do you? Your Tesla runs out of the battery. Uh, you can't chase the criminal. No, do you, you. You shake a fist. You no. wring your your hands together. Yeah. I yeah. mean, how oh. embarrassing! Send him a text. Get on how the embar- Like I'm I gonna find fucking, you. I guarantee it was the fucking mayor's dumbass idea. Oh, we should all have Teslas to cut down on emissions. What about all the shit? Yeah. On your sidewalks, you <laughs> dumb fuck. Human yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. They, they could uh, probably save a little bit of the taxpayer money instead of giving their fucking police these cars that don't work. Uh, maybe clean up the shit and needles. Nah, not a prayer. Nah. No, no, because, too easy. because it's 2019. We've completely lost all fucking common sense. Yep. Well, and fuck California. fucking stupid. Yeah, yeah. California, California stupid. can get fucked. Hang on. We got to roll to top with Stacy with the weather. What's the weather like out on the West Coast there, Stacy? still raining or maybe snowing i don't i don't really know sorry guys you betcha uh speaking of dumbass san francisco people are putting big ass rocks on the sidewalks fucking god in front of their houses now to block homeless people from setting up camp it's like uh it's like an urban scarecrow yeah (laughs) except it doesn't scare you it's just kind of in the way (laughs) no i have a number of friends I have a lot of friends in Seattle that had bought property, and then when uh, the Seattle mayor deemed you know your car can be your domicile, now people can move into their cars right outside your house, yeah. and you can do nothing about it. Fuck them. Oh yeah, every- fuck all these fucking people. Get them the fuck out of here. I'm telling you, this is our our our, our problem solving for immigration. It's a one for one swap. If you're gonna set up a fucking tent and live somewhere. No, we're going to say, do you want a job? If you say no, we swap you out. You go to Mexico. We bring in an immigrant that's like, you want to work? Yeah, I want to work. You're in. Yeah, and we help them get a fucking nice house in a nice neighborhood. And yeah. Yep. That, and then we take pictures of it, and we, we send them in nice four by six cards to the people that we kicked out of the country. Yeah. Oh, here's that they guy that got the job. They get a Christmas card every year. Here you go. <laughs> Every you lazy year. piece of fucking bullshit ass excuse for a human. Get the fuck out. Who do you want in your country? Do People you that work. A hardworking person that has a little trouble speaking English or some lazy fuck face that's tailgating life. Yeah. Yes. I don't want life tailgaters anymore. No. I'm done with them. Uh, my, my question is, is, and I'm being serious one about for this. One swap. So you put a boulder out in front of your house. Yep. How do you <laughs> hop over the boulder to get out? Because you're not moving it, obviously. Like, well, it's San Francisco, man. I mean, you're, you're not... For the most part, 
Uh, you, by the way, this is a. Uh, but how do you get in your house? This, this is, is a really No, no, no. It's out on the sidewalk and in the street and stuff. It's not right in front gonna, of your door. I want to look this up. I got to see pictures of this. Okay. So, oh yeah, it's super funny. The link is in your email, dum dum. Uh, oh, it is. Yes. Um. So. Okay. In San Francisco, there are more cars registered the, to the city than there are parking spaces in the city. That is a that's a fact. It's a little piece of trivia for you. Yeah. Oh no, that's super convenient. You don't have to move these boulders, Ross. This is just so these yeah, fucking look at the do, don't but I, set if, tents up. If I was homeless, though, I just sleep on the other side of this boulder. You know, um, that's where people walk, so they're not going to do it. But are you are you not allowed? So again, serious question: Are you not allowed if you're homeless to set it up just directly on the sidewalk? Because in Los Angeles, you are. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think you have to be out on the street right there. Okay, which is why yeah, they put them is, in that location. But in L.A., what, J- what Jared was saying about uh, Seattle, by the way, uh, with L.A., it's the same thing. So people just, like, park their cars there, live in their car, mm-hmm. and they move it to the other side of the street whenever the street's sweeping yeah, so, they, they, so they don't get a ticket. That happens in Los Angeles a lot as Everywhere. well. Everywhere. Like, yeah. you can't park anywhere in any fucking neighborhood around there now. Not in California. Except for that uh, neighborhood near, uh, near the Staples Center. They keep those roads pretty squared away. Whew, God, are you talking about? God, I've been Skid down Row. Skid Row. Skid Row, yeah, That's yeah, the yeah. Worst. Fuck, they man. keep those pretty square. <laughs> you just need to Christ. roll down that fucking road with a bulldozer and like a fucking giant, you know. We should do a live a show there. Yeah, yeah, if you've never seen it, by the way, like dr- drive through it because it really is shocking to believe that that's that's part well, of America. To do with any of this, I know it's crazy, man. It's absolutely fucking crazy. The thing that's crazy to me is, I mean, it's not really crazy. This is expected, but some dumb bitch who refused to give her last name or give her a name at all mm-hmm. uh to the uh to the news was saying like oh they could have used that money and effort to fight for homeless people to get houses like holy shit fight for why is that my responsibility to get houses, houses yeah. why is yeah, it that's that's the fight? government's responsibility they had been calling uh, the fucking cops on these people who have been selling drugs carrying guns out yeah. there shitting in the street mm-hmm. leaving needles around where their kids play for six months and nothing's been done so fuck yeah they put boulders out there fuck them man yeah uh, this is only going to get worse. I, when you showed me this, I thought maybe it was like a 4chan thing or whatever. Like that's that's actually <laughs> yeah. seeing that's the CNN link. You see, I would install <laughs> I would install like a, a a huge industrial propane tank and then a giant fire bed in front of my property that I would just turn on during the day. That made it to where you can't, you know, a grating that just fire shot out. What if you replaced all the sidewalk tiles with like ejector seat things? Oh, that would be cool. <laughs> so you just <laughs> come outside in the morning, like, he's like, oh, we got, got some change. And you just press as long the as you put it a, it into the yeah. street. Yeah, as long as you put a sign that said, you are setting up camp on an ejection seat. Oof. Yeah, this ejector goes off four times a day <laughs> randomly every single day. Could you imagine? Sorry. Or you can set traps, just like a. My. my yeah. yeah, but you just put up, you set up a nice outdoor bedroom, bed, yeah. TV, yep. and, and it's right on top of a trap door. Teeth like a bear trap. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly like that. With, you put a little bit of cheese on that bed. Yeah. Right? Oh, Thank yeah. You. Everybody knows cheese. that homeless people can't resist cheese. Yeah. Oh, my can't. gosh. If there's Everyone one knows. thing I know, yeah. my cat learned can't that in college, too. Cheese. Ooh, you smart. <laughs> Old whiskey loves him some cheese. Oh, exactly. is that cat still alive? Is, yeah, is your, no, is your, uh, yeah, TK is alive. No way. Really? Dude, How? you want to talk about a tough bitch? Like, sure. She was an outdoor cat in El Paso, Texas, where the average temperature was 110 degrees outside. Oh, I desert. remember. Then she went from El Paso to Salt Lake City for two winters, where Oof. there was four feet of snow on the ground, and she lived outside. I found her little fucking cave, too. She dug under the... Uh, the shed out back. <laughs> um, and then she she moved to the, the house in Alamo Heights, which was backed up to a state park that had hundreds of coyotes. And now she lives on eight acres in, in the hill country and is tougher than shit. Man. All right. Jared, uh, Peter's out there listening. Give us a call for Jared <laughs> Taylor taking care of cats. Yeah, Peter listens. What? Uh, TK, sure. she's tough. Uh, tough old cat. Tough old cat probably needs some wireless headphones. Yeah. <laughs> Go to buyraycon.com <laughs> forward slash drinking bros. That cat deserves a set of wireless headphones. Uh, they got uh, absolutely right. They got those right. little inserts too into yeah. your ear holes of all sizes. So if you have a giant ear hole or a small one, you get 50 of those fucking things in there, it feels like. Uh, I feel like if uh, God existed, all of our ear holes would be the same size. Probably. 
Yeah. Probably. That's my one big checkmate. It's your great checkmate. We all have well, that's why. Ears. That's why I'm anti ever since I became uh, uh, a simulatist. Where you know, I believe that we're all simulationist. I think is what yeah, that was. Simulationist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's a good. I like that word though. Yeah, simulationist. That's what I am. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's right. why I'm an, I'm I'm anti-homeless. I'm I'm for immigration for a one-to-one swap. And you know, I don't care that people think that we're destroying the earth. We're not. It's fucking digital. It doesn't matter anyway. Exactly. Exactly. And since everything. I mean, that's digital, the only thing again, that explains space. Buyraycon.com right? for some headphones. Buyraycon.com forward slash drinking bros <sighs> will actually. Uh, that'll do it for you. That'll get your fucking headphone needs squared away. Uh, you can get rid of Beats by Dr. Dre. These things <laughs> are actually amazing. And uh, look, man, you're you're probably looking at 50, 50 bucks on these goddamn things. Something like that, yeah. Throw them in a rechargeable box. You're good to go for five hours. Five hours worth. Uh, next up, we got Greta Thunberg. Uh, whew, this girl's, those little 16-year-olds are making Who the cares? rounds from Who Sweden. Who cares? I, like who cares? She's become a meme everywhere now. Everywhere, and yeah, but it's a distraction method. For what like, is my question? Who knows? It's like, hey, let's get every. They they now know that our behavior is so predictable. It's like, oh, here's how we can get them all to talk about one thing that we want right now, so we can do whatever we want. It's a distraction. I don't know. I like it, to me. This seemed too fucking planned out. Um, you know, and her parents. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. It was planned. It, it it was, but I don't. I don't know necessarily that that it's a distraction. I think because look, they're all in on climate change across the board on the left. I, I think that it almost feels like an audition, didn't it, Jesse? Like mm-hmm. the, she seems like a child actress, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How many uh, elected Democrats are uh, scientists? You know, for in marine biology or you know geology or anything like that. Can I? Can we get that fig- figure? <laughs> Or how, how many 16 year olds? Zero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's like, oh, this is their big thing. It's like, dude, you guys are fucking. Well, dumb. here's what they would say to that they would say, we appeal to the experts for expert opinion. The problem is, like we talked about on fake news last week, we have 50 years and dozens of predictions made by these experts that have never come true. The world's going to end in 1989. The world's going to end in 2000. Yes. Shut the fuck because up. Because I man. don't really believe that smart people are that smart. Uh, they're that smart. I just don't think that. I think they're drawing Hang conclusions. Uh, <laughs> I just want to back up and, and try to catch that phrase again in a bottle. Uh, I don't what? believe that smart people are that smart. I just don't. I mean, like, like y- y- there was this certain like aura, like that surgeons were like you know superhuman and shit like that. And then you like really kind of research it, and it's just a checklist. And they don't. That uh, half the guys don't really know what they're doing. They just read it in a book of like, okay, move this to the side. Now cut this there. Hopefully you're good at it. Like. Everything's just kind of like a <laughs> what if. It's so a fucking what if. It. Surgeons yeah. are a big what if. Uh, that is break, breaking is. news. Scientists. Well, that's the thing. If you're the top scientist that's making these predictions, who's going to argue with you? you well, know, who's, you here's somehow... the real thing. Who's holding them accountable? Exactly. So this list came, came out last <laughs> week from a research institute, and it wasn't, it wasn't a subjective list. It was just... It wasn't even an opinion piece. It was just, here are all hey, the things here, yeah. that climatologists have said for the last 50 years. Right. And then beside it, did it happen, yes or no? No to every single one of them, right? So it's like, come on, man. But, you know, in this chick's defense, one, she's clearly just an indoctrinated child. Yes. She has no idea what's yes. going on. Yeah. She's not an expert on no. anything. No. No. And, she's not even uh, an expert on speaking un- clearly. No, no, she's a knucklehead. But I shouldn't un- even be here. I how, should be how home. How dare you? It's enjoying my life but instead i'm here yeah why, go yeah. do that and shut the fuck up yeah exactly go you enjoy your be life here. in iran yeah well that's <laughs> I, mean, uh, I mean calm down it's a weird <laughs> leap uh <laughs> here's th- th- thank you chair so i in her defense uh she's a just a brainwashed kid also Absolutely. at least she sailed she sailed there on a fucking solar powered yacht wait w- what <laughs> Instead of flying, whose yacht was it? Uh, some some powered k- some yacht. king of something. She was not. Cool. By the way, she was nominated wow. for a Nobel Peace Prize today. No, How? Thank you. What has she done what for she peace? Do? She got up and gave one speech, and all she did was give a fucking speech. It's not like, hey, I've I've spent she also cried years the whole thing of research. Like a baby. Yeah. I cleaned up X amount of fucking trash out of the ocean. No, I gave I. 
just mouth vomited a bunch of bullshit for a few minutes, and now I deserve a peace prize? Get the fuck out of here with your bullshit. Here, here's my that- problem with all this this whole situation right now, right? Yeah. Uh, aside from her just being thrust into this but as a child without any expertise or any, like, she's just a fucking dumb kid because all kids are dumb, right? Sure. Uh, the problem is that the right in general is getting so much heat for rolling their collective eyes at this <laughs> child. Yeah. But remember uh, Nick Sandman? Does oh, anybody yeah. remember that name? Big Dick oh, yeah. Nick. The MAGA hat kid that yeah. stood yes. there as a fucking adult yeah. Native American. As Kathy Griffin yeah. said, yeah, yeah, go yeah. to his and house just like, and like, uh, fuck him up. They were perfectly fine doxing this kid, threatening him and all this other bullshit, but we can't call this foreign That's because they're so lady. full of shit, Like, Dan. get fucked, man. They're so full of shit. They have no argument. Look, like, if we if a, if a fucking teenager walked in here right now, sixteen year old, and said, "Hey, you know what? I think you guys uh, should probably do this like, or nope. that," I'd be like, "Get the fuck out of my goddamn office, here. you dumb bitch!" Yeah, yeah. Who let the exactly. kid in? Yeah. Uh, yeah. CNBC, by the way, rightly points out that if there's any movement on this climate change stuff, just like Elizabeth Warren has already said, yeah, it's not going to be uh, personal stuff. It's not going to be you and me recycling. It's going to be big business mm-hmm. doing stuff. Yeah. And well, that, no, that there's is, a that meme- is the free market. That's not like there's a meme going around that that sums it up perfectly. It shows like a ton of images of China like, oh, by the way, they have, you know, you know, seven times the population of us. Here's their pollution. Here's them doing this. Here's them dumping in the ocean. Here's this. And it's like uh, you don't have to change your life. You don't have to change your life. You don't have to. Then it shows like a white family in America smiling. But you do. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) That's pretty much the size of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My biggest takeaway is she's the only 16 year old with uh, the name Greta. Because usually that's reserved for a 90 year old woman. Well, she's not American. Greta Thunberg. Mm -hmm. That's a that's still a hard Thunberg. Have you ever read Hansel and Greta? Gre- nope. Gretel. Nope. Uh, Gretel. Surgeons, Cheers. by the way, are are still smart, and that is a <laughs> they're real what thing. If, no, nope. they're they're definitely they're winging not. it. They're they just are <laughs> winging it. <laughs> That's why it's called medical practice. There's no absolute. No, nope. just you. You wow. hope you do wow, it good. Wow! 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 Nope! Wow. Nope! Nope! nope you, nope. Hope. you hope you do it good. It's also yeah. called Jared. It's, cut his feed. What? It's also <laughs> called practicing law, by the way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm just saying there's no absolute. You're just kind of fucking winging it. Sure. No. I mean, yes, there's guys better at winging it because they've done it a thousand times. And it's like, OK, <laughs> I've seen a lot of these variables. <laughs> I've seen, you know, yeah. I've, I've, I was able to do this. But again, every surgeon has his first one. Yeah, and it's uh, like, anybody, hey, I read about, I read about doing this. Well, let's fucking hop on in. Anybody getting <laughs> surgery this week? Uh, just know they're probably just winging it. That yeah. is Jared hey, Taylor. If you need a second opinion, uh, you can find him at JT Article <laughs> Fifteen on Instagram. Send him all your medical records. Hey, he I didn't say I was a better them. doctor. I'm just saying it's all made up bullshit anyway. Yeah, yeah, the human anatomy no, and all that right, stuff brother. is uh, not not real. Uh, trial next up, and error. I'll yeah, give you that. Trial. It's a little it's a little T and E. It's little a little T and E. How do you think? think uh, wait, how do you think we got here? Did did, did we did, did, were we Joseph Smith and found a magic book in the woods that taught us surgery? Oh man, it was all we're trial and error. Jesse, we're at the end of this, <laughs> it we was cannot. all trial and error. <laughs> I think it's called denial and error. <laughs> yes. If it's uh, Ricky from Trailer Park Boys, oh, it's denial this is, and error. This is classic. This is Thun- Thunberg syndrome is what you have. You've got Greta, Thunberg, sy- uh, th- Greta Th- Thunberg. Thunberg syndrome. It's where, where you don't know anything. Yeah, and you're believing the wrong things. Yeah. Uh, How am I believing doing. the wrong things? I'm just saying everything, everything was trial and error when it came to surgery. It used to be. Uh, about 500 years ago. Now it's pretty much it's pretty perfected these days. I still put leeches on my neck. Every I didn't. Night. I didn't say that it's not doing better. <laughs> it's doing better. It's <laughs> doing better. It's doing better. Yeah, Jerry, we, a- we need you to do better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, friend. If you don't mind, can we get? I'm this just as saying, an space. Explain space. It doesn't make wow, sense. Wow, wow, wow. It doesn't make sense. This is why we're in a simulation. Because <laughs> just saying space. Explain space. Carry on. Yeah. If we were in a, if we if we were in a simulation, yes, we would put we would put us in the middle of something that supposedly is infinite and it's black and we can't go more than, you know, a few hundred thousand miles outside our, our thing. Yes, yes, it makes sense. I mean, uh, the, the moon is like a couple hundred thousand miles away, guys. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's as far as we can go. Nope. 
Nope, nope. nope. We've been to Mars. Yes, we've sent a robot to Mars. We, but we, we have a go. spacecraft that just left the solar system, homeboy. Yeah, um, and that's Matt, not, Matt Damon got a is person still there. on it. Voyager two. It's got cameras on it. Got cameras on it. And Matt Damon. What is about still that there. Tesla car they sent up with that guy in it? Yeah. That, oh, that, that guy killed himself, though. Oh, he did. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Once yeah. he got there. Yeah, he was like, fuck this. The, the battery yeah, well, ran yeah, out. Well, yeah, because space is cold, dude. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to breathe world. out there, Jesus huh? Christ. Real cold. The uh, this is definitely world. the fake news. <laughs> now, <laughs> next, now we've gone into Next up, we got a documentary director said he's turned over mm. alleged confessions uh, in the making a murderer case. So this was... This was a, a guy who was in prison. Who, Avery. Uh, yeah, Steve Avery. No, but another guy who allegedly okay. is in prison. Mm-hmm. Who is So now someone else is murder. coming forward saying well, they did it. Yeah, apparently while they were making the documentary. Magically while fucking, they're making their new wait, documentary. Yeah, the new one, yeah. yeah. This yeah. dude fucking uh, that's in jail for murder, by the way. Sure. Yeah. As well. Yeah. Yeah. Incredible. Like, oh, no, I did it. Yeah, I did it. Like he reached out to them and said, "Hey, I've got. I think these two guys definitely did it, and here's why." And then they called him back to get a fucking statement on it and actually interview him. He's like, "Actually, it was me, but it was an accident, <laughs> brother. It was an accident. Well, sorry about it, hombre." Yeah, like uh, credibility. Eh. Probably two out of ten. No, it was really weird that the police lieutenant found the keys in his room. Ah. I, I, Who leaves look, the keys? I know. Yeah, uh, with, no, with you're, right, guy, you're right, you're right, you're right. Look, I've had the same theory all along. I think this motherfucker <laughs> mur- did murdered her. I don't think the kid did, though, that Brendan DeHasse. I think he was probably there, and he's borderline uh, I think he retarded, was there. Right? I think he was there. I think he was there, but I, think but I didn't think he knew what was going on yeah, as exactly. a kid. And, uh, but I think this Yeah, we've guy, all witnessed murders that we weren't a part of, right? Exactly. I haven't, sadly. Hey, and wait I, a I minute. I always wanted to. I heard something, and I'm going to fuck this up, but Dan, you'll you'll... Nah, you'll be this. fine. Um, is it about heard, surgery at all? Or, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> or space. Space somebody, is not real. Somebody of power or fame made a statement about uh, the representative woman that talked about the 50 caliber fucking AR-15. Oh, yeah. Uh, and she said, said, it, she, she said it was like she's heavies. mentally. No, she said they said that she's mentally ill and they're taking mm. a bunch of backlash. But then. They started releasing some of her records that she has a history of mental illness. <laughs> like, oh. just like, I don't know. I haven't seen that. The woman yeah, in, that, in that viral 50 cal video? Yeah. yeah oh, she, man. She, she was talking about it was like really heavy. Like an AR-15 real. is really yeah, heavy or it, something. Look, it wouldn't surprise me because that, that, that video seemed way too far-fetched to me that, that somebody would actually do that. So that your argument for, I can't believe I'm saying this, but Jared actually makes sense. Because when I saw that video, I was like, man. Was it the d- one that she was like double caliber? A- that no, one? no. She says oh. she was talking uh, about the AR-15 heaviness of it. Is, mm. oh, as, oh. As weighs as much as 10 boxes you could be moving. Yeah. What? By the way. What are in the fucking AR-15 boxes? AR-15 weighs like seven and a half pounds. Yeah, it's pretty light. Yeah. It's pretty and light. shoots oh. a 50 caliber, caliber bullet. Can you imagine like, an <laughs> AR platform? Uh, can you imagine oof. an AR platform shooting a 50 cal round? Holy no, shit, No, it would dude. hurt. It would, it would, it would hurt. fucking destroy you. Yeah. I just, I don't understand. You've got, you, this is a congresswoman. Fire her right now. Yeah. You went in That's public. You right said now. incorrect information to people that are uninformed. You need to be fired. If you're a congressman, it thinks a fucking island is going to tip over because you put too many people on it. You need to be fired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, Hank Johnson, by yeah. the way. Representative Hank Johnson said if you put too many people <laughs> on Guam, yep. then it No, he was worried about yeah, plussing up. He was Ugh. worried about... Uh, like plussing up military on Guam because he was afraid the island would tip over. Love it. Classic. I Hank. love it. And I like the way he your thinks. Bullshit. Look, but you don't know. It's all <laughs> trial and error. Jared, I mean, how do you is know? Trial and Nobody error. Prove actually it. knows about that, though. You know? Yeah. No one does. Yeah. Science uh, is bullshit. It is. Doctors it is. are lame. Uh, as Doctors always, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna end with our top story of the week. In my opinion, <laughs> this is the craziest shit I've ever heard in my life. An I'm Indiana in. mother who adopted a six-year-old Ukrainian girl with dwarfism has been I said charged this to you. with abandonment, but claims you her daughter, air quotes, was found to be a 22-year-old sociopath masquerading as a child. This is wild as fuck. So I got this in my crime corner, which is why I like you did. went yeah. into it. But go ahead, this I'm is in just. Love with it. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> the woman and her husband have been charged, basically the with kid abandonment. with abandonment. Child abandonment. They left the but kid in Indiana. After they rented her an apartment. 
Yeah, they left the kid in Indiana and fled to fucking Canada to get away from her. Do you look? Wow. So these, what it looks like on paper though is that they, or what she is saying is that they adopted this child, changed her age to twenty two, and fucked off to Canada. Yeah, that's on which the, is on what the people face. do all the time. All the time, and it, if you look at who benefits from that, obviously all parties. Yeah, did you watch right? the yeah. interview with the girl though? Like she was like, hey, you know. They said she was six, and I went to give her mm-hmm. a bath, and she had like full pubic hair and shit. Pubes, and they're like, what? Uh, a period? Do you know what? what? The, yeah. here, here's what the, here's yeah. what the courts can do. Yeah. Wait a year. Does she grow? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Case closed, bitch. Case closed. Get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> so they thought she was six years old, a six-year-old girl with dwarfism, right? Oof. Yeah. They got her and were suspicious. That she might be a little bit older, uh, hence the pubic hair, period. She had very sophisticated vocabulary. They and so changed. they went to get her bone density. Yeah, how yeah, do you that? It, it was uh, 1989. Yeah, 1989 is how old they say. Her, her name's Natalia, by the way, of course. Of course. Because uh, it's That's very a nice name like, for a dwarf. Because we're, she's Ukrainian, no? Yeah. Or yes, okay. Marion County. I wonder if in her and Biden's son have been speaking. Ooh. There you go. Ooh. That's dumb. That's some real yeah. dumb. Look, together. <laughs> we spend one day with Alex Jones, and this asshole doesn't believe in science anymore. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Explain space to I me. I didn't damn say it, I dude. believed in science, or I didn't. I don't not believe in science. I've never known you to believe in science. I, I think yeah. some of the lines today that uh, uh, of yours that I really loved, medical practice, um, that is just practice and not an actual thing. Um, it's a theory, but yeah. Surgeons, I like. I like surgeons are just winging it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. They what are, is what it's is a space? Checklist. What is yeah, space? What, what even is space? What even is space? <laughs> 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 Fucking nothing. It's I my like, favorite. Hey, Jesse, Jesse made that quote, science is fake, doctors are lame. I want that shirt. <laughs> God, <damn it. laughs> and I'm going to sell it to fake. anti-vaxxers. Thank by the, you. By the way, uh, this so the kid was trying to kill them, they said. Did uh-huh. you did you go into that on she the was standing? Yeah, yeah standing no, over yeah. there. She was like mm-hmm. watching throwing, sleep and shit. She was like pushing the mom into electric fences and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> ah. So basically, they got her like help and like got her into rehab and yeah. the, the hence like getting the apartment and trying to get her jobs and were actually trying to set her up. And uh, they found out that she had actually pulled this again on another family, oh and God. that's why wow. she, that's why the mom intervened and was like put some kind of stop on it whatever uh because she was trying to do it again and be a six-year-old again yeah, but so where, she's mentally yeah, fucked where but, is the indiana like court system like hey uh what do you mean about this abandonment shit this 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 woman's a fucking crazy because it has to go through the court yeah, it's system, go through the right? do you know how so hard shitty. it is to just adopt an american child yeah, yeah. like that whole process, nobody noticed that this foreign child was an adult? A 22-year-old dwarf. Well, if you're a dwarf, you know, that's a gray area. I mean, that's really a real is. tricky. We don't know enough, right, because doctors are stupid. <laughs> so we don't actually know enough about it. That's How not many, what I said. Let me, I said that's what I said, Doctors Jared. are checklist-oriented. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move Let's we'll, move past we'll, that. We'll get to the drinking bro of <laughs> the anyway. week, shall yeah. we? Uh, oh this God. one's going out to uh, Zach Kirchin. Uh, we, that? on a show a couple months ago, grab that uh, jar there, Jesse. Uh, on a show a couple months ago, we had asked uh, for some Flint water to be sent in. <laughs> And uh, he actually mailed in a mason That's jar awesome. full that of actual awesome. Take a sip. Flint, didn't, Michigan no, water. No, no, no. Ross, I get, didn't I tell you like the things that you needed on your set was Flint water and some, some sort of dirt? I yeah, 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 yeah. So oh, what, what was, was it? Dirt ha- from, it's dirt uh, from uh, Area 51? No, from, no, from no. Russia. Yeah. Uh, Alum and Gordo or uh, Chernobyl. Uh, Chernobyl. Chernobyl, Chernobyl yeah, yeah. dirt and yeah, Flint, yeah, yeah, Michigan yeah, yeah, yeah. water. So we have one out of two. Uh, now we're ladies still and gentlemen, for so are you Chernobyl guys out dirt. there in Chernobyl? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all of our listeners in, in uh, the Nobs, why don't you uh, hit us up with a little piece of radiation? Just mail that right in to the P.O. Box at P.O. Box 3793, Wilmington, North Carolina, 28406. Uh, someone will be handling it, just not us. And just write Chernobyl on the back of the package so we know. Yeah, I think we've got an intern that's uh, already dying from cancer. Oh, perfect. So we're yeah. just going to oh, nice. have them handle all the radioactive material. Cool, cool. Correct. Ah, cancer's fake. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Science is fake and doctors are lame. Yep. And no, uh, no. Can- I- I'll take that back. Cancer's real. Cancer medicine is fake. <laughs> there you sure. go. There you go. Sure. That's, uh, they, they just elongate it. Oh, by the way, I do have the announcement. Uh, we've got a few more days left of the Elk Hunt giveaway. $17,000 Elk Hunt uh, that Black Rifle Coffee is giving away with Sitka Gear and Leopold Optics. Uh, just go to blackriflecoffee.com backslash elk hunt so and enter. You have until October 4th. We had some questions from the audience about it. Uh, will you guys be going on the elk hunts with no. them? Oh, no, you're not. No, no, no. It's their, it's their hunt. Yeah. They're, oh, they're so they, 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 they just get to do it by themselves. Well, with the guide. With the, yeah. With, with the, the guide. companies, yeah, get, right? You get a guide, yeah. Oh, oh you, guide, get a, you get a guide to elk hunt. Yeah. Because uh, a lot of people were like, hey, man, do I get to go with Evan, JT, and Matt? So, uh, no, no you're, so you're going with a guide. Okay. Yeah, you're going with a guide. All right, right on. Uh, look. We will be filming all the holiday videos during that time frame. That's right. Look, El- uh, Rogan's eating elk every single goddamn day. It really is the best. So, if you want to go out on your own personal elk hunting trip, go to blackriflecoffee.com and sign up. That's, uh, what is it? It's backslash just- elk hunt. Yeah. Forward slash. Forward slash. Because that's how your is it, is it Forward slash? Is it back? Mm, yes, it is. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Forward you've, you've been reading ads What's for four years. What's a oh. whatever? I, I haven't used I haven't used God DOS since 1999. DOS? Who the fuck said DOS? Man? No, I just haven't real. used DOS in a while. None of it's I'm real. Rusty. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> Fucking doctors are lame. What is space? <laughs> what uh, even is that space? That was Jared Taylor. Uh, <laughs> that is Anthony Anthony Holloway. That is Jesse Wiseman. I am Ross Patterson. If you find a greyhound in Dallas, Texas, uh, go ahead and pick up Jared's girlfriend and deliver her back home. Send her on back home.